Polyvinyl chloride is made by addition polymerization. For this to take place, an initiator, usually an organic peroxide, and chloroethene mon monomers are required. Chloroethene is also known as vinyl chloride. It has a double bond between its two carbon atoms, as well as a chlorine atom. If we look down at the 3D Born stick models, we can see that chloroethene has a trigonal planar structure. Now if we expose the initiator to ultraviolet light, the bond between the two oxygen atoms will be broken, creating two free radicals. This is due to the fact that both oxygen atoms have an unpaired outer shell electron. These radicals can open up the double bond of a chloroethene molecule, initiating the reaction. This forms a free radical on the other side of the chloroethene molecule, because this carbon atom now has an unpaired outer shell electron, making it very reactive. Each time a free radical hits another chloroethene molecule, a new longer chain is formed. This stage is known as propagation. We will fast forward this process because as you can see, radicals collide with monomers in the same way over and over again during propagation. In my demonstration here, there is only about 10 monomers, whereas in an actual PVC molecule, there will be thousands. The last stage is known as termination. Two free radicals collide and join, stopping the process. A polyvinyl chloride molecule has now been formed. If we look down at the 3D ball and stick models, we can see that the chlorine atoms are orientated randomly along the chain. It is also noticeable that the chlorine atoms stick out from the chain and are very large. These characteristics explain why these polymers are mainly amorphous. That is, PVC molecules do not bond with each other in a uniform manner. Chlorine is a highly electronegative atom, so it attracts the electrons towards it in the carbon-chlorine bonds. Chlorine atoms become slightly negative, and carbon atoms become slightly positive due to this electronegativity. This means that dipole-dipole forces can form between molecules. These intermolecular forces are much stronger than dispersion forces. This explains why PVC tends to be hard and rigid.